Hey, hi there. I'm just uh, playing around with these uh, weird uh, trees. <laughs> And uh, I wanted to talk to you about something. If you, uh, if you play on uh, one more block, then uh, you know that we have fun playing Minecraft a lot. And um, that we are going to go through some changes soon. We, we have Mojang 1.18 to upgrade to. And that comes with quite some changes indeed. For example, the world in 118 looks different. It, it might not look like this, but it sure has a lot of changes in it. And that is pretty cool because the world height has updated, the world generation is different. Actually, I could use a fist. Can I hit it? Come on. Uh oh, I'm gonna die. Come on. No, I'm not gonna make it. I'm terrible at this game. I need more players to play with so I can get better. I should stop getting distracted. Stop getting distracted, Flores. Okay, so the world height changes in 118 and we are updating our worlds or at least the ones that we can update to this new world height. But what about all my stuff? I made all this pretty stuff. Is it gonna go away? Nope, don't worry about that. We got you covered. Let me jump. Okay, I made the jump. All right, and um, so yeah. Okay, um, your stuff is still gonna be there. It's gonna be in the general world. We're like we always say, we're never gonna delete the general world, and that's the plan this time around as well. We kind of try and stick to that promise, of course. Um, what are we going to do? Well, well, well. That is a great question. What we are going to do is actually expand the height of the general world without losing your builds. Everything in the sky is just going to be more air. So instead of 255, we're going to go to 322 or something like that. What is this place? What the heck? And instead of uh, bedrock at 5 to 0, we are actually going to have Mojang, when we upgrade, replace that bedrock with um, deep slate stuff and then below the deep slate stuff is going to be the deep slate chunks and they are going to be luscious biome caves and all sorts of fun new stuff that they've introduced with 117 and actually 118 the cliff and cave update part two or whatever they call it so yeah your general world that you know that we've always said no no this is all generated land from like back in the day and all the way up to 116 and stuff like that we've limited the world border we're not extending it and all those things that's changing now the your stuff is still going to be there your inventory is going to be there your homes um your ender chest all all the good stuff it's honestly all going to be there so if you build something like this and you log in with 118, it will still be there. Don't worry about it. And then below ground, when you go past bedrock where the deep slate is, you will find all the new 1.18 stuff. And then at minus 64, you will actually find bedrock, which is which is pretty terrible. <laughs> Bedrock is terrible, but we have a pickaxe and we've tested it and it works. If you have enough job points, you can actually, where do I, I want to get a plan. If you have enough job points on the server, you can exchange those for one of those pickaxes that let you break bedrock. And you might not be able to break bedrock at level minus 64, but if you've placed it somewhere else or you misplaced bedrock, you can actually break it on our server. And it seems to work in the next version as well. So that is pretty cool. That is indeed pretty cool. Uh, but will you actually need bedrock? No, not really. But it's, it's a cool block to design with, right? So why not? Let's... Um, Let's break this and see what we can do here. I need a boat or something. I'm not going to swim all of that. All right, so what the heck? Do I need maybe sticks as well? I need a crafting table, probably. How do you make a boat? Does anybody know? 
I don't know anymore. I'm too old for this. Okay, four planks like that. Yeah, yeah I can do that. But we have way more worlds, right? We have the legacy worlds, we have sanctuary and a bunch of those things. And what are we gonna do with those worlds? Well, I'll tell you. Um, well, what I make me? What the heck? Why can't I make that? Do I have to? I, can I just do this? I could do that, right? Yeah. See. Wow, pro pro gamer right there. All right. So, all those other worlds, if the world generator that we use for it allows it, then we're going to expand those too. So even the world that we started in 2011, like the legacy world, we are gonna upgrade that with the new world generation. And it's gonna look pretty cool. So people that have those very old builds from 2011 or 12 or 13, they can go back there now and actually have fun digging down and expanding their builds. And did you know that original world used to be 128? The world height already got changed by Mojang once. And yeah, no, now we're at 256 and now we're gonna go to 322. It just, it's, it just never ends. It's crazy. I might need that up again. Can you tell that I'm really good at this game? That I can totally concentrate while I am like, uh, you know, talking to a video thing? Ooh, I like this. These new things, man. The world can look so cool in 118. I just love it. Uh, I should probably get some food just in case. This is gonna take forever. Please excuse. There we go. I will let you leave. All right. Behave, Flores. Behave. You're being recorded. All right. We also have sky block and one block, and we are not entirely sure what the developer is planning for that product, but we might actually, I said actually again, what's this thing with me saying actually? Anyway, so we might actually keep that as is, but if they offer a way to expand those worlds, we are going to take it because we would love to offer the islands with more height. Um, all right, bigger news. We once tried to introduce the wild world, but that didn't go so well. And not because we failed, but right when we were ready building it, we noticed that there was there were rumors about the new world generation in 118. What is going on with my field of view? Calm down. This boat is crazy. It's like a speedboat. Like, like warp, whatever. Is that a cave or a ravine or something? <laughs> Oh jeez, I should not be allowed to play this game. <sighs> so the wild world we put on hold and um, we are, oh can I get through here? There we go. <laughs> Where am I going even? Oh no, bad mistake, bad mistake, big error, go back in the water maybe. Oh, the white world, the wild world, oh no! Get me out of here! Here we go. It's gonna be under Sless Wild, it will be our new wilderness world. Not that the general world is going away, but it's just gonna be another cool world. Instead of the old data, it is going to be completely rendered from scratch. At spawn 000, we are gonna stand there and say, generate us a world, and we will get a newly generated 1.18.1 world. Okay, it's gonna be really small. It might be like 700 by 700, or maybe like 2000 wide, or something like that. It's gonna be pretty small until we are ready to upgrade to 119 because it will have the dark deep so the first few builds are all going to be around the area here 
at that spawn point. And then after that, you guys, when you are all building there and 119 comes out, we're just going to upgrade that world and expand the border for 119, set a new border, and then let us all play until we're ready for another uh, world. Oh no, it's going to be night. I thought there was like something cool there, but it's just sand. This place is looking pretty cool, actually. I wish I was a better player, so I wouldn't screw this up so much. But and I don't distract myself all the time. Uh, for more uh, distracted gameplay and just exploring worlds and talking about stuff, I do try to live stream on Twitch, so you can find me on... Uh, on twitch.tv slash Mr. Flores. Is that on fire? That can't be good. Oh, I heard mobs in the water. The drowns. So the general world is getting an update. The sky block and one block might get an update. But without you losing your data. The... Wild World will actually finally be introduced and we will have fun with it. And I really want to go into those caves, but I this is like all I have. I got a crafting table, some food that I'm eating right now that's gone, and four sticks. Um, we also have resource worlds and... We might have a little surprise for all of you in regards to those. So that's why I'm making this video long, kind of hoping that the people that really like what we do with our server stay to the end of the video and hear that we are actually planning to make the end and the nether in 1.18.1 and as a permanent world. We are really, really trying. It's a bit too early to promise. Oh, just casually boating around <laughs> ocean temples. Okay, okay. So the resource worlds might disappear and we might have a permanent world. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do with that though. We have some different opinions between uh, some people on the team and myself or what our opinions are in regards to upgrading it in the future, but we have a direction that we are taking. We have an idea that we are going to execute at least. So maybe with a pretty good probability the temporary resource worlds are going to disappear and we're going back to basically permanent worlds. Um, well, with good news is always a little bit of bad news. We are... Hey, don't shoot at me. We are perhaps removing a world, though. And I know that sounds bad, but... We have some worlds that are barely being used. We have a visit once or twice a week, maybe, and it's very short and then those players never return. So we're not entirely sure what to do with that. And I'm not talking about general. Like I said earlier, the general world is here to stay. All your stuff is going to be there, but maybe a world like Acid or Skygrid um, maybe uh, maybe it's time that we uh, retire those or find a way to maybe reset it and uh, make it more interesting. Oh, spider. Oh, God. Holes in the ground. Why am I doing this during nighttime? This is not good for me. Nothing here is safe either, by the way. But doesn't this look amazing? This new world height is really fun, though, because... Everything can render in such different ways. It's gonna be beautiful and Okay, well, okay enough bad news by the way. I should try and stay focused. I really am not. Oh god um, But I'll, I'm really trying uh, Thank you for sitting through this video and let's end with some good news um, We are as we've never done before actually going to look for additional team members whether they are for the build team the developer team 
um, maybe a helper in the community or two, uh, maybe some admins, who knows what's going on. Then we'll have a whole different video or at least an announcement about it, so keep an eye on our Discord. Um, but maybe in 2022 we are going to try and expand things a little more and we're going to need some staff for that. That is not the way to go. This looks... Everything is pretty in this... Ah! Uh-oh. Everything is pretty in this map. As I die. Uh, can I make this gym? No, I can't. Uh, there we go. And if even if you're not part of a team, like an official status, we have awesome players, hopefully like you. <laughs> I don't know who's watching this right now. But we have awesome players on the server that have made fantastic survival builds. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And we have builders in the builders group that have made fantastic creative builds as well. And we want to invite these people that are just beautiful builders to join us. That's a mistake. To join us in the wild world and maybe help us out in creative mode to do some cool things on the server. Oh my gosh, this just never ends. All I do is escape. This isn't surviving. This is just terrible gameplay. But at least you had something to look at while I'm explaining all this stuff on the video. Now nah, I'm overreacting. Ooh, look at that uh, little forest over there. That is pretty. Where's my boat? Okay, before we end the video, I just wanted to give it a quick summary. General world, not going anywhere. Is it going to get better? Yes. Are maybe some worlds getting retired? Yeah, if almost nobody is using it. Uh, if there's something we're gonna retire, we'll give you a heads up. And then you can say, whoa, I don't wanna lose anything. Can we copy paste that somewhere? The answer will probably be yes. Is Skyblock and OneBlock going anywhere? No, definitely not. Will their worlds be changed to a new height? I don't know, maybe, maybe not. It depends on the developer, I guess. We're talking to them, but I'm not their product developer. It's up to them, I guess. And uh, what about the new wild? Yes, it's finally going to be here and it's going to be beautiful. And um, it's going to be made with a vanilla 1.18.1 world generator that comes with the server engine. So it's going to be good and has the new height and the new generation. And it will be made ready for 119. So the deep dark, which might not be in the general world, will definitely end up in the uh, wild world. Stop shooting at me, it's morning. It's No, it's not fair. Though if I die after the end of the video, don't do it. I mean, I am at the end of the video, but I want to say goodbye and stuff and not just end it on death. All right, let's enjoy the morning here. Whew, should I like live stream this on Twitch and actually do a little regular normal survival thing where we can explore this land that I got over here? Maybe next year we can invite players to this um, particular world, this design, and we can all build together, survive together. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if uh, you would like to do that. Oh, I survived the night. That's like a miracle. Oh, God. Shh. Right when I say that, I almost jump into that hole over there. Okay, so we might have some surprises for the nether in the end. The temporary resource worlds might actually disappear. And I think I finally found some food. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, stand still because I can't aim. I'm an old man, you know. Oh, it's my birthday in January. Oh, no, it's my birthday in January. Oh, food. I'm going to survive this. Just keep walking to the sun. All right. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube videos. I know that I don't edit them down. I don't have fancy music in them. I don't prepare my videos. The one take I take is the one that I upload. And yes, they're boring and all that sort of stuff, but the more people watch, the more fun I have 
trying to do better. And I think that it's really cool that you watch this. And I know that you watch this because I got a plus one view on it now. And hopefully a like and maybe a comment. So feel free to leave those and help me stay motivated. This world really is pretty. Okay, my brain is all over the place. It's clearly midnight and I have to go back to the regular one more block server now and say hi to everybody that's playing and enjoying the quad XP this Sunday and double XP the rest of the month and uh, tell them that the new um, Advent Day has started because it's um, the 12th now and then in a couple of hours number 13 will open and then Oh my gosh, it's just nothing but good stuff from here. Every time a new week happens on the advent calendar, the prices increase. You might get stone and fancy blocks in the first week and some gear and cool stuff in the second week. But up until uh, the 24th, it's going to increase. We're going to include some beacons. We're going to include spawners, some special items, more MCMMO levels. So you don't even have to grind. We're going to add more foe tokens and maybe even one of those bedrock pickaxes and vouchers to pick up boxes that you've missed so you can complete the collection. So, yeah. Do I have any other news? Nah, I don't think so. I mean, I can talk for hours, clearly, because I'm yapping right now, but we'll, uh, we'll see. Do, should I end it in death? Should I end it? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Bye.